Click enables you to build and orchestrate data integration pipelines for Databricks Delta Lakes using the highly automated and GUI-driven Click Data Integration Platform. With Click, all required code is generated automatically, rather than having to code it all yourself in notebooks. The Click Data Integration Platform supports Databricks Delta Lakes on all three major public clouds, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure Cloud, and the Google Cloud Platform. In this demonstration, you will see how data is moved from sources to the Delta Lake landing using Click Replicate, how to build and update the Databricks Delta Lake automatically using Click Compose, and how to orchestrate the data pipeline using Click Enterprise Manager. Click Replicate moves data from our source systems to the data lake. We have already defined connections to both our relational source and our Databricks Delta Lake landing zone. Creating a Click Replicate task to move the data is extremely simple. You just define the name, the task options, and then select the source and target connections. In the Store Changes settings, we'll define the time interval for Click Replicate to manage partitions in the Databricks landing zone. One of the keys to low latency is the speed partition mode that registers partitions in Databricks at the start of the time interval. Click Replicate will deliver data to the cloud throughout the time window. This enables Click Compose Live Views to provide consumers low latency data access as soon as Click Replicate has delivered incremental files to the cloud. Deselecting the speed partition mode will result in more transactionally consistent live views because the live view will not show those changes until the partition has been closed. However, this might require you to shorten the partition interval to propagate changes to Compose in a timely manner. In the control tables, we will ask Click Replicate to manage change data partitions in the Data Lake landing and DDL history to support schema evolution in our Delta Lake. Let's move into a Databricks notebook and view the customer data in the Data Lake landing zone. We can also see a corresponding change processing table that will store changes awaiting processing into the Data Lake storage zone. We've moved into Click Compose, where we will define our automated Databricks Delta Lake. Click Compose creates and manages both Data Lake and Data Warehouse projects from the same application, making a lake house far easier to implement. The sources for our Data Lake listed here can come from tasks defined on multiple Replicate servers. Building a Data Lake in Click Compose begins by discovering the objects directly from the Click Replicate metadata. Here we see the entities defined in the Click Compose metadata layer, both a logical and a physical view. Then Click Compose automatically creates the tables in the Data Lake storage zone and the ETL tasks to load and process the data. Click Compose automatically defines two data storage ETL tasks to load this data set. The first processes the bulk loads into the lake, and the second processes change data capture records. If we look into the full load ETL task, we see a mapping for each of the tables we are managing. Click Compose automatically generates all the code necessary to load and maintain our data lake. Every operation is in dependency order, and steps that can be run in parallel will be grouped into a process step. Here we see one of the Spark SQL load instructions in detail. The time savings over writing your own notebooks is clear. Click Enterprise Manager enables our customers to manage all of their Click Replicate and Click Compose servers and tasks on those servers in a single interface that is secure, audited, and API accessible. For example, we see that the Click Replicate task in our pipeline has processed some changes to the Data Lake landing already. If we were to look in the Databricks environment for a moment, we can see the results of those changes reflected in the Click Compose Live View and Live History Views even though the changes have not yet been physically processed into the Delta Lake storage zone yet. The key advantage of Click Compose Live Views is they reduce latency while also reducing the utilization and cost of the cluster for data processing operations. The Click Compose Live Views are part of the Click Compose product and should not be confused with the Databricks Delta Live tables. The Click Compose Live Views provide low latency access to data curated by a Click Compose data pipeline on any supported Data Lake platform, whereas the Databricks Delta Live tables are a notebook-based data pipeline building facility within Databricks itself.
Workflows that orchestrate adding and transforming data from multiple sources, tasks, and servers into the data lake can be managed centrally from Click Enterprise Manager. In this example, let's execute a composed CDC workflow from Enterprise Manager. The Click Enterprise Manager provides REST, .NET, and Python APIs in addition to the internal scheduler. You may also use a third-party scheduling tool. Let's return one final time to our Databricks notebook to see the results of the change data capture processing on the storage zone. We can see the contact of the first record has been updated in the customers table. We also see that prior states of changed records have been moved to the customers archive table. These are the only two tables for the customer entity in the storage zone. The other result sets displayed are all views. First, the Click Compose Live view for customer is now in sync with the process customer data. A Click Compose Live history view for customer renders a type 2 history of the change with from and to dates based on the base and archive tables. The Click Compose Customer Live history view also adds data from any open partitions to the customer history. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of the highly automated Click Data Integration platform and see how simple it is to create a cloud-based data lake using Click and Databricks, then keep it hydrated with data from your source systems. Thank you.